Hi everyone, this is Okoyemi Adishino. Welcome to Additional Intelligence. And as you already know that basically I share unconventional wealth intelligence. That is, this is not popular opinion and this is not what's on the street. This is actually what I've observed that the 1% use to control 99% of the world's wealth. In fact, right now, it's not even 1% anymore. It's now 0.1% of the world controlling 99.9% of the world's wealth. You, you can't get to that level with what on the street. You can't get to that level with popular opinion. And one of them that I'll be sharing today is product design, right? Many people, especially entrepreneurs, have not designed what they do to be able to help them generate the 1% income in their niche, right? Many people are still hooked up in the operation of their business. For example, you are a fashion designer. You are the CEO. You are still the one making all the clothes. There's no way you want to get more business with that. There's no way you want to earn the top 1% in your niche like that. You need to excuse yourself from the operational part and get into the management part where you go after the business and employ someone to take care of the operational part. You're able to set vision. You're able to give ideas. You're able to explore and develop yourself. You're able to go after the people who can pay you what you deserve and what you want to earn. For example, there's a way you present yourself and your business that cages the caliber of people that can actually come to you. There's a way you present your business that defines you to say, you know what, this is only for average people, this is only for the middle-income people. And there's a way you present yourself that attracts people that can pay you the 1% income. For example, the same T-shirt and trousers you made for 10,000, 20,000 era, if you walk into a Yomi casual store, you pay less, nothing less than 250,000 era for the same thing, right? The same Kaftan you make for 30,000 Naira, if you walk into a Shei Vodi store, you are paying nothing less than 350,000 Naira for the same pieces. What's the difference? It's not necessarily the brand. It's not necessarily the brand view. It's the presentation of the founder or the CEO of the business, right? There's a way you present it that even though you're using the same material, people just assume that it's more quality, right? You know, the, the end goal is for you to earn more so that you can invest better. But you can invest comfortably, you can invest authoritatively without earning well. So if you get this right, you can increase the income you get from your business and you can definitely invest in something that will not give you passive income. Remember, your business is still active income, especially most people that it's still active income for you. It's still self-employed for you. You are not yet a business owner until you can leave your business for three months without any active involvement and it still produces the same income, the same productivity you would have if you are present 100%. Right, you are still a self-employed person. You don't own a business because owning a business means you own a system, right? So you might still be a self-employed person, who needs, which makes it your passive income, right? So if you can design a system around to where you can get people to work that system, to run that system, where you now go after the business, the money, then you can earn enough to now start investing in passive income. I believe this would help you to scale your business and be able to earn as much for you to start investing comfortably. Once again, I'm Okoyemi Adeshino, and this is Additional Intelligence.